In this video, I'm going to show you how to install npm Node.js in Visual Studio Code. So this is actually quite simple. First, we're going to open up our terminal up here and click New Terminal. And in here, we're going to test whether we have npm installed yet or not. So you want to type in npm install. And when you press enter, if you get this error, it likely means you don't have it installed. We can check it again by typing in npm and then spacebar dash v enter and yet again as you can see there is an error which means it is not installed yet and we're going to do it right now so the way to install node.js is actually simple you want to go to google and then over here on google what you want to do is type in node.js and you want to go to their website which is nodejs.org you want to click on it it says run javascript everywhere and then what you want to do here is navigate the downloads tab which is the third tab up here, says download. And then you want to navigate to the second tab over here, which says pre-built installer, which makes things the easiest way possible. Now, you want to click here where it says I want D, and then you want to click on it and do the current, so it downloads the latest version, and then uh, a version of node.js for, and then your operating system, so for me it's going to be Windows, running 64 bit so if you have a 64 bit that's it that's what you want to click and you likely do now you want to click download node.js version 23.5.0 or whatever it is when you are watching this video and this is what it's going to download so it's going to be this node v23.5.0 x64.msi you want to click on this so it opens up as you can see there we go and then it says this setup wizard will install node.js on your computer. Now you want to click next and then agree to the license agreement and press next. And then over here, just leave it as it is. You can leave that default, click next, leave that as it, as it is, click next, and then next yet again, and then click install. Now this will take a few seconds to finish up. And then we're going to have successfully installed npm or node.js. And we're going to uh, be able to use it in our Visual Studio code as you can see this is uh, going quite quickly so we're gonna just wait until it finishes there we go as you can see it says node.js has been successfully installed what you then want to do after you've done this you want to click finish over here and then we're gonna close this down and I'm gonna reopen uh, this um, Visual Studio code so it will kind of reboot and actually take effect and start working so I'm gonna just look for Visual Studio code there we go and then if I were to go to terminal up here and then open up a new terminal, for example, and close this down, there we go. If I now type in npm install and press enter, and in case you are still getting this error, which I am getting right now, as you can see, I typed in npm install and it says cannot be loaded because running scripts is disabled on this system. Here's what you have to do. It's actually quite easy. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to open up a new terminal and what you want to do is type in this following command. First, you want to type in get dash execution policy press enter. And if it doesn't say remote signed and it says restricted, so um, for you, it will likely say restricted if you were seeing that error I showed you earlier, which means we're going to have to change this. And the way to change this uh, to remote signed is as follows. You want to type in this command, set execution policy, and then spacebar dash scope, spacebar current user. And you want to press enter. And in here, inside execution policy, you want to type in remote signed. Okay. And if you type in remote signed, and press enter as you can see it will now give you kind of a new status in here and you can now use it as you would normally and it's going to work and all the commands are going to work so if i now type in for example npm install enter as you can see it gives me error because i have it installed already but if i type in npm and then spacebar dash v it's going to give me the version which means it's now installed so that's pretty much it i hope this video helped you out and if it did please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well